Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. It is Monday, whatever the date. I'm pretty tired. We had the uh, first markets for me for the year yesterday. It was extremely hot and tiring, but I'll talk about that later. Today I've got for you some happy mail to share and a bit of a market update at the end. Oh, so... The happy mail we got notice it arrived Friday, but because of circumstances beyond our control, we couldn't pick it up till today. Which it would have been handy to have it for the markets. Now I've read the card because I've opened it and had a bit of a rummage. But there's always next markets. So I'll show you the picture. That thing loves it. Look at that. Is that not cute? We had Saxon down at the markets and Thing kept telling me people said he was so cute and I'm thinking, no, nah, he's not cute, not this cute. Thank you, Raylene. The happy mail is from Raylene, the subscriber in Victoria, Australia. Um, she's gone all out. <laughs> and thank you for the lovely words. And I'm glad Reeves and Thing got a mention in your card because no doubt what I found in there, they're going to be hoeing into. So... First of all, on the top, what I'm talking about is there is a bag of goodies. And I know Reeves is going to say, for mail delivery, I get the picnic. And then I saw it in here. Thing will say to me, for ball whining, I get the cherry ripe. <laughs> And then they'll sneak other things when I'm not around. I'll have to get them in the fridge. I think they're getting a little soft. So I am fortunate. She watches my videos and she thinks of me all the time. And I was gifted the auto pattern by another subscriber. And I had trouble getting brown yarn to do the otters up here. We do sell this yarn, but not in this color. And she has sent me... Two Marvel 12 ply Four Seasons in the colour. It's called Bear, I think, but I'm not sure if it's on the label. Because they tend not to put the colours. Yeah, it is actually. They're starting to put colours. Bear. That I can make the otters with. Which is absolutely awesome that she thought of me and got me those. I couldn't believe it when I got the email that she could get them. She also looking at the yarn sent me this curly loop yarn by Moda Vera in this color don't know if this has a color name dun, dun, dun. just called silver it's like a silvery gray it looks purple in this light I've actually got the window in because it's sunny it's not raining it is really nice and soft and yes I can use it for amigurumis I haven't seen this up here either so yeah I think that's really cute thank you for that Raylene and also you can tell I've rummaged <laughs> we have buttons Christmas tree buttons she managed to pick up some things for Christmas for me and yes I will do a Christmas in July theme so there's the bag of Christmas tree buttons and then there's the mix buttons in here all sorts of Christmas red ones green ones teddy bears dressed as Christmas just awesome for Christmas in July and of course knowing that I am a tea drinker she has sent me Twining's Australian afternoon tea and Queen Victoria English breakfast. These are going to my workplace where I can keep them in my office and have them when I'm at work. They're great size boxes. There's 10 tea bags in that one and 10 tea bags in that. That's awesome. I'm running out of room now. Why I said it would be absolutely great to have these for the markets is she did me a lot of and it doesn't matter whether they're Christmas tea towels. People just love them. She did a heap of tea towels, Christmas tea towels with toppers, reindeer, cupcakes, 
Christmas tree joy <gasps> that one's gorgeous koala look at that all of those and believe it or not sent me a heap of tea towels more with koala christmas cockatoo Australia isn't that awesome cockatoo hair yeah that's me in the morning I've got cockatoo hair it's everywhere more sulfur crested cockatoos I might have to make a cockatoo for um, amigurumi wars <gasps> look at this you're so what does it say yourself I can't without opening it always yourself it's the bees that's gorgeous isn't it this looks like there's two of those oh wow <laughs> there is so much here there is cupcake one another koala surfing christmas one a gingerbread christmas one wow there's definitely a heap of tea towels there I'm just gonna put it over the back here and also there's more we don't stop there we have more and some plain ones which come in handy anyway this time of year and I can put toppers on those there's more in this box absolutely awesome because I have now lost two pairs of little scissors and she has sent me one more stitch a thimble and these beautiful scissors oh just she just it's almost like she's living here and knows what i don't know where i've lost these scissors i've had the boys have looked everywhere we vacuumed under everything and Things said to me, I bet you lost them at work somewhere. But no, today I checked my office. I can't get that open. My fingers are sore from the markets. But they are beautiful. They are like the bird. I've always wanted scissors like those. Then in here at the bottom, every day is a new day with animals. And yes, polar bear. That's terrific. Oh wow, and we're still going because I'm saving the best to last. There is, I have no idea what this is, so we have to open it. It's a bag of some sort with baby polar bears on it. Oh, I bet you I know what it is. It's, and I have two in my handbag. It is a shopping bag. You know, one of those. You hide away in your bag, emergency shopping bag. And I have two, one in orange and one in white. And now I have baby polar bears. That is awesome. I have not seen anything like that up here either. I'll just put that in there. And there is more polar bears. Bowie girl. Wow, this is an awesome crate. Oh, it's insulated. It's like I can take my lunch and things in it down to the market. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's, it's insulated and it's got polar bears. It actually is really good for my wall too as a project bag because if it gets left in the car, it can get really hot and damaged. Wow, isn't that gorgeous? Bowie girl. I can't, my eyesight's really bad when I'm tired. We always want you to have, want you to have what you need and there you go that is my happy mail from Raylene Raylene thank you so much for thinking of me the brand yarn alone was enough 
You've absolutely spoilt me. And I might have to put these in the secret part of the drinks fridge where the boys won't look. But if they know there's chocolate in the house, they'll sniff it out. Especially Reeves and his picnics. He loves them. The buttons are just a gift. To get these buttons is just awesome. We don't get anything like this. And all these tea towels. Wow. And the scissors. Oh, thank you so much. It is greatly appreciated. I can't believe you went to all that trouble and sent me so much. It oh, just blows me away and touches my heart. So thank you again. Hi, back again. I got a little emotional over all that happy mail sent to me by Raylene. So my market update. What can I say? We had the market day yesterday and it was extremely hot. Very little sea breeze and very uncomfortable. For some reason, there weren't as many stalls. Um, there seemed to be quite a few stalls missing and there was not there was a lot of foot traffic, but people weren't buying anything. Fortunately for me, I did make some sales. It's not the worst day I've had. It's probably the second worst day. But people either side of me who do this as a business and supplement their income made no sales. So you th when you think about it, you're setting up at six and you're there to one and you're packing up and you've actually made not a sale. That's pretty depressing. Um, there's a bit of a discussion because we are losing our organising committee that have been doing it for eight years and have really looked after us and the council have given it to a, um, a club of business people, so to speak. There is a very strong rumour yesterday going around that they are going to double the fee. Now, for eight years, I've been going casually and only twice have I moved site. I had a site for quite a number of years and they contacted me and said, look, someone wants to have a double site that's next to you. Can we move you? No problem. I was moved to the current site I get, which is awesome. But there is a possibility I won't get that site anymore. Because apparently the email I got after the markets from this new organising committee says we all have to re-register our interest in having a site. Now, as far as the fee going up, well, it's really not worth it, me getting out of bed at five o'clock on a Sunday while spending most of Saturday organising and packing the car, getting up at five o'clock and heading down there to set up by start setting up by six um, because it just will be astronomical. I, I wouldn't, if they put it up 100%, I wouldn't have covered that fee yesterday and I made sales. So we will see what comes. I think the other thing too is they'll have to justify putting up the fee because there are no extra expenses. And I'd also would be requesting information on what they plan to spend that money on in our suburb of the community because their actual club covers quite a large area of the northern beaches. And I would like to know what they plan to spend on in our suburb because the previous committee provided um, fireworks for New Year's Eve for the kids, a seniors Christmas party in our area. So yeah, um, a little, I don't know, apprehensive about what might happen. Um, the As things said, every store you walk past, they're talking about the fee going up. So someone has let the cat out of the bag um, that it's not just going to go up like 10% or a couple of dollars. It's going up 100%. So that is disappointing. Um, it just means I may not do craft stalls down there. It may mean I only do them spasmodically during tourist season when I know I can cover all the costs. Because for me, I um, do it. My net profit goes to a fundraiser, a charity. This year, it's still Emma's Quest maybe half the year and then after that I pick if 
I don't need it for Emma's Quest. I pick other local charities like the Wellness Centre or different things, the Mayor's Christmas Appeal, that sort of thing. And yeah, there are other ways for me to make money on my um, craft that I sell um, pro that have a fee, but um, I still could make a small net profit and save it up to donate to charity. I can revitalize my Etsy shop, the Australian Made It shop. I could sell more in my Kofi shop. Um, I could even try eBay because if the fee goes up 100%, then that's just too rich for me. Anyway, the markets itself, as I said, I made sales. And of course, I sold tea towels. And Karen, thank, right, thank you very much. Your tea towel toppers were very popular. Some of them I put tea towels in, some of them I left empty because I had ladies say, can I just buy the topper? So I priced those up and sold a few toppers on their own. I sold one to a lady across from me and she was really disappointed because she left it till the end and she wanted the brown one and that was the first one to go. I will be making some more with my scrap yarn. I also had people who just wanted my traditional type of tea towel. So I'm gonna have a mixture and um, if I do it, and if not, what I have on hand, I will sell somewhere else. Because as things said, and Reeve said, you have quite a um, contact list of people who know that you do them and want them and contact you and ask for them. And I will always sell things. So yeah, eight years of doing a market stall. You know, I probably do eight months of the year, not the full 12. So yeah, might be a big hole in my social calendar. I might have to do something else. Anyway, that was the markets. I spent, because it was my first one, I spent most of the week after work getting ready for it, sorting through my tubs, what would sell, what wouldn't sell. And I didn't finish a lot of objects, but I did sell some of my amigurumi. My Hungry Caterpillar was very, very popular and things sold in while I was on a break visiting the ladies' bathroom and he was over the moon because he'd sold this amigurumi and I had requests for bigger ones. So there is another pattern for four weight yarn. I think I made that one in three weight and I get to look last night. Yes, I have the colours, so I may make that again. And Turo sold a young girl about 13, 14, literally pounced on him and said, Anime, it's Turo, I have to have him. And her mother actually said, You're too cheap. And she added a few dollars as a donation, which was really lovely of her because I don't think people have the money at the moment. The economic climate here isn't good. We've had a lot of interest rate rises. And home loans are costing a lot more rents. Excuse me, hiccups. Rents are costing a lot more. Anyway, that was my week that was. The markets, hot, exhausting. I'm lucky I had a lamb roast prepped with Moroccan spice because Reeves and Thing cooked a lamb roast last night while I had a big nap before dinner. <laughs> I was so exhausted. I still am. Can't you tell? It's like I've been drinking. I haven't. I've been to work. I have been busy at work. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you once again, Raylene, for sending such beautiful, happy mail. So thoughtful. And Karen Wright, for you too, for always thinking of my charity fundraising for Emma's Quest. It's just so touching to have people support what we're doing. Take care, stay well, and remember, you can craft just for the fun of it. Bye for now.